a two, a one, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. La, 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 la. I'm in love with the shape of spring. Got rectangles and hearts and squares. Even stars that are twinkling. There are so many shapes out there. Bravo! Bravo, you two! Thank you! Very good job, Cordy the Unicorn. You too, took the dinosaur. And now, without further ado, whoever ado is, presenting the shapes of spring. Yay! Now, shall we? The shapes of spring. So many shapes out there to make up the beautiful outdoors. The shapes of spring are everywhere, on the ground and in the air. Some are big and some are small. Help the bunny find them all. Hello, cute little bunny. You're the cute bunny. You're the cute bunny with a little pink bow. So I guess it's a girl bunny and there's a butterfly and there's a quack quack. Ducklings, one, two, three, they must be siblings, and there's a ladybug, and there's a rabbit, and there's a squirrel, and there's a hoo hoo, but sleeping because owls are nighttime birds. Okay, here we go. Circles are round with no straight sides. Search donkey's garden and find where they hide. How many are there? Circles. Oh my goodness. I see a lot of circles. I hope you're, you can count really high because here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 35, You know what? Next time I'm going to be doing them by groupings. But now we know we have a lot of apple trees, circular. Oranges, circular. These particular flowers, circular. Uh, this harvest right here, is it, uh, I'm going to say heads of lettuce, circular. Some of the flowers, circular. So we had over 50. Mm, it's quite a bit. Now, a shape with four sides that are the same is called a square. Search the town to find them hidden everywhere. How many are there? And there we go. These are squares, so we have a reference point. This is a square with a strap, but a square. And these are squares. And Okay, here we go. Here are some squares right here. On, uh, these are squares on the shutters. And, well, if you look, the ladder makes up squares in the in-between space. And the doors have squares. And this door... And the windows are squares. In fact, is a window count as one square, one big square, or four little squares? Psh, my mind is blown. A lot of options here. The books, square. And let's see here. It looks like Mouse's hat is a little square, as is Mouse's bag and that bag. And then Bunny's bag is also a square. So, whew, there were a lot of squares out there. I didn't count them this time though because I knew it was going to be a really big number. Eggs are shaped like ovals, nice and round and long. Help Mrs. Hen gather them and sing a springtime song. How many are there? Okay, so ovals are like eggs, so you know, kind of like this. Um, let's see how many there are. Am I an oval shape? Oh. Hi, random pickle guy. Hi, you can call me Dill. Like, like Dill Pickle? No. Oh, okay. Am I oval shaped? Well, I, you're a little longer than an oval. You're more like a pickle than an egg. So what shape am I, would you say? I would say you are pickle sized. Cool. Oof, got out of that one. Wasn't quite sure what to answer. All right, so now let's count the ovals on the beautiful page. Here we go. We're gonna go up high. Oh, references. Okay, so we have these as references and these as references. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I counted 23. Now I might have missed some in the rush, so maybe you take your time on the page and you count them all properly. But those are our ovals. Next shape, please. Diamonds. <gasps> Shine bright like a diamond. Diamonds are like kites that spring winds carry high. Squirrels like to fly them way up in the sky. Squirrel. How many are there? Well, let's see how many kites there are. So here's our reference, right? So it's a kite. So notice it's not quite a square, right? Because they're longer. Even if you turn it, it doesn't quite look like a square. It looks like a slanted square if you were to turn it that way. So that is a diamond. Now let's see. One, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. And here's a seventh one over here. But the illustrator, if you look very closely, put little diamonds on the t kites too. So besides these one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So besides these seven kites, then they have one, two, three, four, five, six little diamonds on each one too. So we have seven and then they have six on each. So it says seven, it says 42, maybe. Multiplication, that's too much for today. Let's just say there's a lot, but now we know what they look like, right? Like that. Next shape, triangles. One of my favorite shapes. I don't know why, it just is. The farm has many triangles hidden in the yard with three straight sides. They're fun to find. It isn't very hard. How many are there? Okay. So as an example, we have the carrots, right? One, two, three, like a, looks like a cone. Also looks like a tree, right? So let's see how many triangles. So right off the bat, I see the tree, but the tree is two triangles, one on top of the other. So I'm gonna count that as two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, those are the trees. Now the carrots, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 carrots. Oh, but wait, that ice cream cone is triangle, that cone, 23. Are there any other hidden triangles? Oh, her bow, it's two triangles, 23, 24, 25. I think that's it for this page. I told you I was good at triangles. I hope you are too. Wait, let's see over here. Oh. The farmhouse. These are shaped like triangles too, see? So we were at 26, I think, 25, 26. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, yeah, we have triangles there too. See, shapes everywhere. I bet if you start looking around your room right now, you start to see triangles and squares and circles. I don't see any ovals, but I bet up, spotted, Okay, no, it's deformed, sort of an oval, but the shapes are everywhere. Maybe you even have a pickle lying around. Who knows, because I don't know where my pickle came out of. Let's see, now what do we have? Oh, hearts. Never thought about hearts, that's a great shape. Butterfly wings, leaves, and much more. Hearts show our love to those we adore. How many are there? Okay, so as an example, it's showing us that this butterfly has wings that look like hearts. See, four hearts on this one. This one has two. We only see one, but you know a butterfly has two wings. Hearts, of course, and, and even the flower petals can look like hearts. And this clover looks like a heart. So hearts, here we go. One, two, three on this clover. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, oh, it's a lot. Okay, so then we have more over here, three, three, and three here, and another three here. And then butterfly has four. This butterfly has two wings, so we see those two. And then the hearts themselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah. So all the clovers have three, and then the flowers, each petal is like three hearts, and then that, I'll let you do all the big math yourself because you're super smart. 
A shape with six straight sides is called a hexagon. A red one means to stop and look before you travel on. How many are there? Now I know hexagon sounds like a huge word and very difficult, but as long as you know it's a stop sign, hexagon is a stop sign, easy peasy to remember. So how many hexagons, six sided shapes do we have here? The stop sign is one. And then, oh, I see inside the wheel here, I see one, two, three, four here. And I see one, two, three, four here. And the little wind thing I'm above, what do you call that? You blow it, it goes windmill? Is it a windmill? No, you know what it's called. That thing is definitely looking like a hexagon to me. And then here, one, two, three, four in here. So yeah, so one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's not as many on this one because, well, hexagons, six-sided shapes aren't as common as squares, which is only four, or circles, or even triangles, which is just three sides. Rectangles are used to build. They're really stretched out squares. Doors, blocks, bricks, and more. Look and find them everywhere. How many are there? So here, get a reference here. This is what a rectangle looks like, just like a brick. So doors are like squares, but long, right? Like a door. So that's a rectangle. So we have one here. And then these guys are carrying a block, two, window, three. All these gaps are rectangles. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He's in one, nine. His butt's covering up this one but there's one there. And then the bricks, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then uh, this could be a rectangle too, a long square right there. That can also be one. Let's so see, we had quite a few rectangles. Even this guy's hat could look like a rectangle. His ears blocking it a little bit, but that's that. All right, what else do we have left? Twinkling in the springtime sky, find the stars that shine so high. How many are there? Ah, you know what a star looks like. That's a beautiful shape of spring and all the other seasons too. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. Did I miss any? Did I miss any on this side? I think I got them all. I think I got them all. And last page. Spring is full of shapes galore, circles, squares, and so much more. Woo, woo. Well, he just slept with the whole book, didn't he? And look at that. Bunny found all of them. Found the, the circles, and there's the triangles, and there's, there's a rectangle right there, and there's the oval, and there's a cute little chirpy chirpy right here, little, little chicken, little chicklet. And we have a mouse. And, 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 and do you have any bears? Oh, um, I don't see see any bears here but that's okay you know there can be a, oh well I guess this guy well no what is that thing is that a bear I can't tell if that's a bear or uh another thing where's a pickle you're the pickle oh, oh, I'm the pickle I'm the pickle and that was the shapes of spring everywhere now look around you never know how many shapes are all around you I hope you enjoy the shapes of spring uh -huh.